Hi beautiful. Today we're watching some people go to the lowest rated hair salons. That just sounds like the worst idea possible. I do feel bad rating other hairdressers work, so I'm going to try and be as kind as possible. Sometimes it is really funny though watching like hairdressers do things that are just completely terrible because you know what, we are professionals, but there are professionals that, you know, maybe don't take their job as seriously as others or just aren't as talented as others. That's in every profession. You know, so there's no difference with hairdressers. You have to find the right one for you, the one that's gonna do the work that you want done to your hair, and who's going to take their time and do it and do it really well. Don't go to the worst hairdresser in your city because I feel like this is a terrible idea. So let's watch some people go to the worst rated hairdressers in their cities and see what the hell happens to their heads by these professionals. Let's do it. So today's first video is by Yashvi Baga, and this is called Hair Color Nightmare. Try the worst reviewed salon, Ombre Fail, if they color my hair orange. I'm a bit nervous because every time I color my hair, they get damaged, but let's see what happens. I'm actually excited too because it's been long that my hair has had no color. So she's starting with no color in her hair and it looks so pretty. This should be really, really easy to lighten her hair because her hair is on the finer side. You can get really nice balayage, ombre moment going on. This should not be a difficult process and whatever they do, I don't see how it's gonna turn out that bad. I feel weird. I feel like I'm going back to school with two piggy tails. But I think this is how the process starts. Do I look funny? So now you can see this is the first step. We're bleaching my hair so that whatever color I choose can get over these and this looks funny this is how it's done now a little wrap it in a foil and then this would look like this from the looks of it he's creating like literal lines on her head with lightener. Unless he somehow blends this after with a gloss toner application. I don't know how this is gonna look good. He is making like these extremely harsh lines on her head and putting them in foils, which is gonna make her hair lighten really nicely and really bright, which is good, but not good when you're putting a harsh line on her hair. It's gonna be dark and then a line and light, which is going to look so bad. I hope they do something to fix that line. They're definitely applying enough lightener um, and really getting it in there, so I love that, but there's just no blending going on. Like, it's non-existent. Here is the other thing that I'm seeing. The lightener is like starting at various different heights, which is like cute. It's like, that's what you would do with balayage, right? You wouldn't have everything starting at the same height or else it'd look too uniform. But he's starting like four inches down on the bottom and then leaving like one inch of root at the top. It's it's going to look all sorts of messed up because her hair is gonna be like bleached from here down and then from here down and then from here down. It's gonna be all over the place. So guys, they've bleached my hair and all the bleached hair is in this foil so that it keeps warm. And we'll keep it for like 30 minutes, then wash it, then put on the color. So now you can see the color is already there. Now they're mixing it with the hair so that it doesn't look odd when the color washes out. Ah, ah. Ah, it's actually worse than I thought it was gonna be. It is really blonde, really dark, and there's that really crisp line going across. It looks all sorts of crazy. I don't know what else to say. It looks really crazy. So we are back on the chair with washed hair, which are bleached. You know, not the most optimal result, that's for sure. <laughs> They said, what the f is blending? They did not want a part of the blending life. No, 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 no. How is she not freaking out? She does look good blonde though, by the way. But how is she not freaking out? This is so bad. I'm sorry, this is so bad. I don't even know what is going on. It's like black, yellow, stripe. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what is this toner? Why is it orange? So guys, after this, I realized that I have messed up all my hair. So I called my mom up, went back home, and she helped me color them finally. This is something that and my mom have done ourselves because when we went to the salon and told him to color our hair he did something really weird out of them and i had an event the next day so in urgency we had to do something ourselves and so we colored them wine ourselves i'm sorry what i would die i would literally die nothing went right in that we need to blend you know at least back home before you put those lines in her hair anything just give me anything that's a little bit better than this um back home do a little brushing at the top so 
it's not all one crisp line. Do a darker toner or something to just blend it. I mean, like that bright orange, I don't think that's what she was looking for. I don't know what she was looking for, but I cannot believe that was an actual experience that she had. And she was filming the whole thing, which is even more hilarious. Like, I can't get over that. Whoa. No, thank you. I don't want that. Okay, up next is a video by the channel Tarantula. And this is called Going to the Worst Review to Hair Salon. Long to Bob haircut. Okay, so I think that he went to this lady and was just like, yeah, I want a bob. So she is apparently just straightening his hair with a blow dryer. I would definitely recommend wetting it or completely straightening it before starting. Um, that way you get the most clean lines possible. Um, otherwise, it's going to be a mess and all sorts of wavy once uh, it's restyled the next time and washed. Um, so already really concerning with the uh, technique that's already starting to show, but we're hopeful. Okay, so we're getting started with the cut and we are going directly in with the clippers, okay? Which is totally fine. If the line was straight and the clippers actually worked, it'd be fine. Um, the clippers are clearly <laughs> way too dull. The guy does need a good haircut though. Like, listen, the, he has all sorts of layers going on in there that are a mess. I don't know what, maybe he just grew it out from like a short cut and kind of went with it and didn't really uh, cut it at all. But she is still trying to get that hair straight, even though it's not straight. Nope. It still has so much volume in it. We don't cut hair like that, babe. The way she's elevating the sections as she cuts too is concerning. Like, why are we not combing it all down and cutting? Why is why are the sections lifted up? You're gonna create like small, tiny bits of layering in his hair and it's gonna look weird and like beveled at the ends. And now on the back, she's not lifting the sections at all. She's just cutting right on to his, his back. Um, she's basically cutting the hair all different kinds of ways, whatever she feels like doing. Uh, clearly. This guy has very healthy hair though, I must say. Okay, we're pulling the hair forward. It's actually not looking like totally horrible. Like for all of the bullshit she just pulled, she could have had this done 10 times faster if she just did it right in the first place instead of doing like 10 different haircuts. Oh, the way she's trying to even it out and like connect the two bridges of like long and short. Oh, it just keeps getting shorter. Oh my God. She's like, this is where we want the length, like a bob. She's bringing it shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. <laughs> This is going to be a Willy Wonka haircut, baby. Oh, the lack of layering is mm, scary. The way it's all one length and sitting like that is scary. He has way too much hair for that. It's gonna make his face shape look so weird and bulky and crazy. Mm. The way she's fluffing the hair up and like doing the blow dryer is so cute. Just blow dry his hair. That's not it. She's taking wax and baking his hair bevel in at the bottom. What are we doing? Why are we hacking more hair? Yes, Willy Wonka. What a f trooper of a guy. Oh my God. You could tell on his face, he did not want anything to do with what she was doing. And he was scared a little bit. Um, That was probably worse than like the first time people cut hair in hair school. Let's never do that again, ever, ever. Ever, ever again. Let's move on to the next video. This video is by Freedom Styles and it's called Professional Hair Salon Gone Wrong. I'm getting a little bit more than I asked for. I got more than a laugh. I got more of a cry from these videos today, but hopefully this one's more funny rather than scary. I know a lot of people will say freedom because watching this video is kind of long and a lot of people will be very sensitive because of the way they were pulling my head. And uh, the hair I lost is more than the hair that is left on my head. And uh, a lot of people will just, their mind will just be like, what do you expect from the beginning yes i expected this even though i lost a lot of hair and my hair is experiencing heat damage that shampoo i don't know what just happened but there was so much hair coming out of her head and now he's brushing her hair honestly you don't need to take so much water out of her hair um i would literally leave it dripping if i was doing her hair because what's gonna happen is her hair is gonna soak up that water extremely fast and it's going to dry extremely fast so you don't need to sit there and start like trying to towel dry it and you want that moisture in her hair. That way, when you go and blow dry it, you can actually get the hair nice and straight and you can comb through it really easily. Otherwise, if her hair starts to dry, it's going to be a pain in the ass blow dry and it's not gonna become really, really pin straight. Oh my God. The fact that she has to hold her head right now while he does this. Oh, no, 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 no. He's blow drying her hair, like, like full on trying to give her 
waves with the blow dryer. That's not how this works. No, let's take a let's take a nice um, boar bristle brush, flat brush, and let's just blow dry it straight. And then we can do, go and do some flat iron work if we really want to at the end. But this, with her texture, is not gonna work. The fact that there's two people doing her hair right now and they're both completely failing. Can we talk about the fact that they're using the tiniest round brushes, like ceramic round brushes that are a half an inch wide? No, don't do that. Don't start with the brush underneath her hair. It's gonna add volume. You wanna try and make that shit as flat as possible. Flatten it out, put the blow dryer on top of the brush, and then you can go underneath once it's all dry and start to give the ends a little bit of a bevel. But uh-uh, this is so sad. Like. We should be taught in hair school on how to blow out kinky, curly hair. It's totally unacceptable. This is how you wreck somebody's hair and completely damage it and fry it. How is she so cool with this? Why does her hair look like that? And what did they put in her hair to make it literally not move? Oh my God, let's never do this ever again. Like uh, guys, at the, okay, if you're a hairdresser out there and you don't know how to do hair like this, just don't do it. This is just so sad and pathetic. There's way too much steam coming off of her hair, like way too much. Why are we going back over the sections we already did with the round brush and now trying to flatten it out? I can't watch this. I can't even watch it. Oh my God. What I would do in this situation is make sure her hair is super conditioned, super moisturized and not towel dry it, okay? And then take out the tiniest perimeter section around her head and go in there and get all of her edges smoothed out first with a nice boar bristle flat brush or anything of that nature. And go in there with, with the blow dryer and not try and blast it with heat. Just take really small sections, take your time. It doesn't actually need to take that much time and go in there and get all of that smoothed out. Why? Why are two her ends look like that? At the end, if you want it a little bit smoother and a little nicer, and you want some bevel on your hair, going with a flat iron. We just don't need to be doing all this. Oh my God, now we're going with a curling iron. We're gonna curl her hair. Why are we curling it upwards? That's not gonna look good. Like, why are we doing that? Why are we taking horizontal sections and curling them? That makes zero sense. Like take vertical sections and curl away from her face and it'll look a lot better. Oh, and now we're changing techniques. Now we're doing beach waves all of a sudden. Girls, decide what you wanna do and do it and execute the vision. I'm just grateful her hair is still on her head at this point. No way they left you like that. Absolutely not. Me and Krille, we paid $120 and then I paid $70. This time, I paid $70. And then, did I regret doing this? Guys, I never regretted. And you understand what has happened has happened. Meaning, I learned from this. I learned, I learned. If you are to stretch your natural hair, go to people that are specialized on our Afro hair. Okay. She paid $70 for that blowout. Woman, you are way too nice. Way, 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 way too nice. That is a huge no-no. You should get your money back. That is so not okay. So disgusting and so awful. And those hairdressers should have known that didn't look good and not charged you and not even have done your hair in the first place. And you should have ran away, honestly. This has all been horrifying. <laughs> That was honestly 10 times worse than what I was expecting. I'm scarred from this and I'm so sorry if any of you guys out there have paid for your hair to be done and it's been like this horrific. That should never happen. It's totally unexcusable and it's totally horrifying on every level. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. You can click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. If you guys like to text me, this is my number. Yes, it's really texting my phone. Yes, I really do see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. This will also notify you every time I post a new video. If you guys like to shop my Live Your Extra Life merch, you can do so now. Here it all is. I wear it literally every day of my life. It's so comfy. I made sure of it when I created it. You can shop it at the link below or at xmondohair.com. If you guys would like to check out my hair care brand and my color brand, you can do so at X Mondo Hair and X Mondo Color. Here they are. This is their Instagrams. If you want hair inspo, go there. You can also shop with the links below xmondohair.com and xmondocolor.com. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles all around me. Go for it. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Rachel and she says, hi Brad. My hair is super long and I'm considering donating it and surprising my family, but I'm so scared of the commitment like a weenie. As the epic expert you are, I would like your opinion. I would cut it like a blunt shoulder length or a tad above, cutting about 17 inches or so. Yes! Oh my God, I love a hair donation moment. Cut it off, go to your shoulders. It's going to feel so good to just have that big of a change. You've probably been growing your hair for years. I think it's such a great idea and you're gonna look 
so good. I would love to see a photo if you end up doing it and good luck. You're gonna look so great and you're gonna feel so good about yourself. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.